Good morning. The topic of today's video is yawning. Yawning can be very contagious. Just hearing or seeing someone yawn can easily make ourselves yawn. The question is, why is this the case? This is the question that we will try to answer in this video. Welcome to Sight. Yawning is a universal behavior that occurs throughout our lifespan. Self-report data show that people tend to yawn anywhere between 6 and 23 times per day. On average, each yawn tends to last anywhere between 4 and 7 seconds. The function of yawning has not been conclusively pinpointed as of yet. This is difficult to do due to its numerous eliciting stimuli. One biological explanation for why we yawn is that it is spontaneous and it represents boredom, drowsiness, and fatigue. This is supported by the fact that yawning most frequently occurs right after we wake up and right before we go to sleep. Another explanation for why we yawn that is not biological but rather psychological is that yawning is contagious. In the scientific literature on this topic, Contagious yawning has been linked with empathy. This association makes sense, as empathy involves the ability to understand, share, and to be affected by the feelings or states of others. Thus, because yawning can be elicited involuntarily by seeing or hearing someone else yawn, contagious yawning could indeed be seen as belonging to the category of empathy. Support for the notion that contagious yawning is related to empathy is shown by one study conducted by Platek and colleagues. In this study, they argued that contagious yawning may be part of a neural network involved in empathy. Specifically, using fMRI, they found that watching someone yawn will evoke neural activity in the posterior cingulate and in the precuneus. Further support for the notion that there is a relationship between empathy and contagious yawning comes from studies that show that children with autism show less contagious yawning than children of the same age without autism. These results were suggested to potentially be due to suboptimal processing of stimuli related to empathy among people with autism. Another line of support for the relationship between contagious yawning and empathy comes from a study conducted by Cooper and colleagues. In this study, the experimenters used EEG to examine the link between contagious yawning and mirror neuron activity. Mirror neurons are neurons that get activated both when we engage in a certain behavior as well as when we observe someone else engage in that same behavior. The idea behind this study is that the reason why yawning is contagious is that when we sense someone else yawn, our mirror neurons are automatically activated, which causes us to yawn as well. The results of this study showed that when watching someone else yawn, our brain showed increased suppression of brainwave oscillations in the right motor and premotor areas. Furthermore, hearing someone yawn also led to increased brainwave suppression in the right premotor area only. These changes was primarily seen in the so-called mu rhythm. In both cases, the increased mu suppression was particularly high among those who scored high on test measuring empathy. Importantly, mu suppression has previously been shown to be a good indicator of activation in the mirror neuron system. Thusly, these results show that contagious yawning indeed is related to the activation of mirror neurons. In turn, this is also related to empathy. The studies that we have discussed thus far point to the notion that there is a relationship between contagious yawning and empathy. Adding to this, while spontaneous yawning is present already in the uterus, contagious yawning does not emerge until early childhood. This further indicates that contagious yawning may reflect some higher level social cognitive capacity such as empathy. However, Despite these pieces of evidence, the research literature on this topic show inconsistent findings. According to a meta-analysis conducted by Massen and Gallup Jr., there is some research that showed that contagious yawning is related to empathy, but there is also other research that show the opposite. For instance, 
Some studies have looked at the degree of contagion in yawning when people are with those that they are familiar with as compared to when they are with people that they aren't familiar with. The idea behind these studies is that empathy increases with the degree of familiarity between individuals. The more familiar you are with someone and the more you know them, the more empathy you will also have for them. If contagious yawning indeed is related to empathy, the likelihood of yawns being contagious should also increase with the degree of familiarity. However, the results of these studies are mixed. While some studies do show that yawning tends to be more contagious around people that we know, other studies fail to replicate these findings. In conclusion, the answer to the question of why yawning is contagious is, well, we don't know. Although some research point to the involvement of empathy in mirror neurons, we still need more research to get a more conclusive answer to this question. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.